Good evening and thanks for joining us. The mayor of Miami Beach calls Irma, the powerful storm approaching Florida, a quote, nuclear hurricane. Irma is now a category three hurricane with winds exceeding 125 miles an hour and it remains wider than the Florida Peninsula. Today, Florida Governor Rick Scott asked another 700,000 residents to flee the oncoming storm for a total of 6.3 million evacuees, almost a third of the state's population. The governor said 54,000 people are staying behind in public shelters. Weather forecasters predict storm surges of up to 15 feet. Irma is expected to make landfall on Florida overnight. Today, it continued to move across the Caribbean and struck Cuba. News Hour Weekend's Megan Thompson has more. Hurricane Irma is now blamed for more than 20 deaths across the Caribbean. It made landfall overnight in Cuba as a Category 5 storm. 155 mile an hour winds battered the island's northern coast and the storm surge reached 12 feet in some areas. In the small coastal town of Caibarien, Irma downed power lines, pounded buildings and filled streets with debris. Today, France deployed more than a thousand recovery workers to aid residents of the French Caribbean island of St. Barts and of St. Martin, which is controlled by France and the Netherlands. Irma caused more than a billion dollars worth of property damage and destroyed 70 percent of the homes on St. Martin. Following right behind Irma is the Category 4 Hurricane Jose. The National Hurricane Center warned Jose, with its 145 mile an hour winds, could make landfall on St. Bart's, St. Martin, and other parts of the Caribbean in the next 24 hours. Heeding the warning, all 1,600 residents of the tiny, already battered island of Barbuda evacuated today to nearby Antigua. While Hurricane Irma was downgraded to a Category 3 storm, it's expected to gain strength before making landfall tomorrow morning in Florida. Today, Florida Governor Rick Scott said Irma could be Florida's most catastrophic storm ever and told residents in mandatory evacuation zones to get out now. This is a deadly major storm and our state has never seen anything like it. Millions of Floridians will see major hurricane impacts with deadly, deadly, deadly storm surge and life-threatening winds. As strong winds began pounding Miami and the Florida Keys, the state had opened up more than 300 shelters for evacuees. Even the Miami Zoo placed its pink flamingos inside a fortified concrete bunker. Farther north, Georgia Governor Nathan Deal ordered evacuations along the Atlantic coast. Residents of Savannah lined up to catch buses out of town. And at Camp David, President Trump and his cabinet members received briefings on the planned response by the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA.